Thank you very much for introduction. Uh, I'd like to get you familiar with the initiative we started at Bauen Digital Schweiz, Building Smart Chapter Switzerland, about uh, three years ago, uh, two years ago. So this is the kind of use case management. To get you familiar with that, we start with a short movie about it. This will explain you what is the use case management. Our construction and real estate industry is currently undergoing a digital transformation. All specialists are called upon to take the necessary measures in their expert fields to actively shape digitalization. This is an enormous challenge. Individual stakeholders within the planning, construction and operation sectors cannot resolve this issue on their own. Bauern Digital Schweiz has recognized this fact and thus launched the use case management. In this initiative, we bring together groups of industry professionals with competencies relating to specific use cases from the entire value chain. These digital use cases are identified and processed in working groups. Examples of use cases are the model-based tendering, automated building permit assessment, industrial prefabrication, and energy management during operations. Bauern Digital Schweiz has developed a structured process for handling use cases. The aim is to describe the associated activities and information exchanges in a machine-readable way. Using international standards, such as the IDM methodology and the IFC schema. Step by step, it defines who provides what information, when, in what format, and how detailed it should be. This forms the basis for software development and contractual agreements. The platform is open to all professionals within the construction and real estate sector. From practice to best practice, work with us and become part of the growing community. So this was a short introduction. So we established this uh, platform uh, um, for development of use case. It should be a very um, structured way. And uh, the, it follows actually the, the SAN standard. So we uh, are in line with these uh, standards. And this platform, even if we started in Switzerland, will be a multinational platform so everybody can use it. Uh, it's uh, for collaborative uh, development of the use case. So a uh, discussion in this uh, working group was really uh, how we managed the international rollout. Uh, we had a MOU uh, agreement uh, past months, uh, a few months ago, with Germany, uh, Austria, and France. So they already use uh, this platform, get familiar with it, and uh, we will uh, roll out this platform furthermore. So once again, shortly explained what is a use case, uh, why I'm uh, explaining you that. We are working in working groups, uh, so uh, all the experts joining us for a, for a working group, and uh, we develop the use cases. So and this is how we explain what is a use case. Very simple, a use case just defines who provides which information, at what time, in which format, and in which uh, level of detail. So, actually, very easy thing, but uh, of course, uh, to um, uh, develop such kinds of use cases, it needs quite some time. And main objectives are basically that we need a common language for the use cases. What we see, uh, basically, in Switzerland, uh, we have a lot of projects, and everybody starts just from scratch with the new uh, project, because language is not uh, the, the same. Uh, nobody really understands what the other means. So we need uh, really a kind of a, a foundation for use cases, that everybody understands the same. You can start a project at about understanding of 80%, and then for uh, the details, last 20%, you uh, uh, customize then maybe. So and basically the goal is uh, that uh, clients and contractors can um, agree on the BIM goals uh, once we have these use cases. And of course the second main target is uh, that we define the information requirements for each use case. So the result out of a use case is 
It defines a common understanding, so we have the same language, we have a basis, we have uh, integrated processes, so the processes are here. Uh, it provides ba the basics for the BAP, and it classifies already the information for IFC. And this, of course, provides uh, inputs for future MVDs. And this is the basis for further uh, software applications. So what we see is use cases should be really the foundation for the whole industry. Uh, how does the use case management look like? There are basically three steps. Step one is the scope. So you describe the use case. What is, uh, what is the content of the use case? Uh, what are the benefits, what are the objectives, basics, and distinctions. And then the big work is, is of course, uh, step two, uh, the process map based on uh, PPMN standard. So we are uh, use this standard to develop uh, the process map. And in the process map, of course, you already get uh, the information uh, requirements and the exchange requirements. And step three is basically out of the process map uh, in, a, in a very logical structure, you list uh, the exchange requirements uh, per discipline, per project stage, uh, maybe also per LOD, LOI, and then in the next step, you classify this information to IFC or any other cl classification systems. Uh, we developed for that a specific platform. This platform has a front end, so there's the website. Uh, what you see here, we have some libraries. Um, uh, we started with building, uh, introduced also infrastructure projects, and now in the discussion we had uh, added uh, Germany and France uh, and um, Austria for um, joining us in the use case management. And on the other side, of course, how we work together, we have a backend. This is the collaborative uh, platform, so the working groups are uh, working in this uh, platform and uh, develop together um, in joint effort the use cases. And this is the platform, maybe just a short insight. You switch through the libraries, uh, then you look for a specific use case, then you see here, for example, there is a use case. You can open this use case. Uh, you see here uh, stage number one. This is the general description of the use case with the benefits, the objectives, and so on. So everything is listed in a very structured way. So uh, all the use cases should be the same. Here you see a lot of tags uh, for filtering the use cases to uh, make an easy search. And then, of course, we have uh, the explanation here of the process map. So all the process maps are also in this tool uh, very easy to find. What was the outcome of the uh, workshops we had? Actually, uh, the feedback. So uh, first, feedback, uh, very important also. Uh, we are really aligned uh, uh, with the efforts which are in the, in the SEN TC442. So this is important. We need really a, a common standard to develop use case and, and later on the IDMs. Um, then uh, the service is, uh, is very important. Uh, we see we have a lot of activities uh, which are going kind of in the same direction. And I think uh, first what we need to do is to come together, find out what are the initiatives we have here and align them uh, between each other. Uh, another finding was uh, we have a lot of use cases, a lot of IDMs in a lot of platforms. We should really um, align them, bring them together just on one single platform so that everybody can easily find uh, all the use cases. So the main conclusion, so we need to synchronize first, you, we need to find a way and we need to in place a steering committee uh, that we can really do an international uh, rollout of uh, the, this platform. Uh, uh, and we also have to develop the platform uh, in a further way that it can be suitable for entire um, uh, requirements we have here. And of course, must be harmonized uh, with the SEN uh, TC442 uh, again. And 
At, uh, at last, the UCM platform is proposed as a single database for all use cases we have here within uh, Building Smart International. So, I invite all chapters actually to participate on uh, the use case management. You're, it's an open platform, everybody can use it. Uh, just come to me, uh, ask me, I'll be very happy uh, to uh, introduce you the platform and uh, get you the rights to work on it. Okay, so thank you very much.